Welcome everyone and in this video we're going to be talking about a magnesium oxide practical. It's one of the required practicals for your international GCSEs. In this video we're going to actually be going through it in terms of the calculations and then I'm going to put on the end of the video I'm going to show you an actual experiment that a scientist does with this particular experiment. Let's get into the calculation side questions that they're going to ask you in the exam are going to come from the calculations of this experiment, not necessarily from the steps of the experiment. All right, so I'm going to go through the steps anyway. To have a look here, we've got one sip of coffee. Okay, what we've got here is we have a separate uh, apparatus set up. We've got a crucible. Okay, this is like a pottery. Think of this as like a, a pottery bowl, okay, with a lid. And then we've got a pipe clay triangle. If you had to look at this from a bird's eye view, the pipe tri triangle would look like would look like this. Okay, so the the magnesium bowl is like sitting on top of this of this bowl, like this, kind of like that. Um, you'll see from the video later on. Okay, then we've got a we've got a heat source, Bunsen burner, and we've got a, a, about ten centimeters, ten centimeters of a, a piece of magnesium. Okay, piece of um, piece of metal, magnesium. Cool. And then what you basically do is you heat this, you heat this crucible, and every now and then you take the lid off, and that is to allow oxygen to get inside. Okay. Remember, we are forming a metal oxide. Magnesium oxide is a type of metal oxide. Of course, there are many different types of metal oxides. You can get iron oxide. You can get magnesium oxide, etc., etc. So how do we do this experiment? Well, we do it like that, but then what are the calculations? So the first thing you need to do is you need to find the mass of the crucible itself. Okay, so I'm just going to give some, some random examples. So the mass of the crucible that I weighed, um, let's say the mass is 32.46 grams. Okay, that's an empty crucible. It's got nothing inside of it. Then I put my magnesium inside so the mass of the crucible plus the magnesium so plus mg it's obviously going to weigh more right how much more will it weigh well we can weigh 32.70 grams okay we haven't done anything we haven't lit the bunsen burner we are just measuring what is the mass of magnesium and you can quickly do a calculation by minusing these two numbers 32.70 minus 32.46 this is going to give me 0 0.24 grams this is what magnesium weighs 10 centimeters that i chose to cut out of a magnesium ribbon it weighs 0 0.24 so that's how you'd find the mass of the magnesium ribbon okay excellent let's put that piece of information just somewhere up here 0 0.24 grams of mg let's just keep that there Okay, then you heat up this experiment, lifting the lid every so now and then, and you continue to heat, and what's gonna happen is that this magnesium is gonna burn a bright white color. Okay, you keep burning, you keep burning, you keep burning, until you lift the lid a few times and you can see that there's no more reaction taking place. There's no more, there's no more bright white light, then you know your reaction is complete. Then what you do is you put your mass, I mean you put your crucible that's just undergone this experiment and you weigh it. So you then get the mass of the crucible after the end of the experiment. Okay, now remember if you can think about what magnesium oxide is, magnesium oxide Okay, what's happened is oxygen's got itself into this reaction and it's combined with the metal, magnesium. So effectively, if you, if you think about this, what would the weight of the, not the weight, what would the mass of the crucible be after the experiment? Do you think it'll be higher or lower than this number? And you'd be correct if you said higher because oxygen is a element it exists as something so if it's now combining on top of the magnesium that means it's going to weigh more it's going to have a, a greater mass so what i weighed it as is 32.86 so if you think about this 
I need a little bit a little bit clever here we can we can actually work out well how much oxygen did actually combine well we can take this number and we can minus it from this number because this is the weight of magnesium and this is after the reaction we got we got a we got a higher weight so that must be the oxygen so so the oxygen's mass okay oxygen's mass it must be 32.86 minus 32.70 right and what we get here is is 0 0.16 so if we take both our values now that we've got we've got uh, magnesium um, this weighs 0 0.24 grams that's from my initial calculation and the oxygen weighs 0 0.16 grams now the question that we've we've done in previous videos is what would be the empirical formula if we had a set of results like this well remember what we do we, we have to use this equation always have to work out the amount of moles we don't we don't worry too much about mass it's important but when we're doing final calculations when we're talking about empirical formula we need to use we need to use moles so moles is equal to mass over molar mass so let's do this for both sides let's figure out the moles the moles equals 0 0.24 divided by the molar mass of magnesium you get this from the periodic table the molar mass or otherwise known as the relative molecular mass is um, not molecular the relative formula mass is known uh, or not known as but is 24 grams per mole okay so we put this as our as our bottom of our, our equation effectively so we've got 24 here this is going to give me 0 0.01 mole okay of 0 0.24 grams of magnesium let's do the same for this side Mo uh, moles equals mass of oxygen is 16 i know if i always remember oxygen is 16 grams per mole so the molar mass of oxygen is 16 grams per mole from the periodic table and this is also going to give me 0 0.01 mole right now remember from previous videos when you're working out the empirical formula of something you you you've got your two elements magnesium and oxygen you might have three in another example you might have four in another example you always take the number that has the lowest mole to it and you divide by that number in this case both of them have the same number so we're going to just divide by 0 0.01 that's going to give me one atom of oxygen you divide this by 0 0.01 that's going to give me one atom of magnesium so the final answer to the empirical formula for magnesium oxide in this experiment is just simply going to be MgO and that is my final answer guys I hope it's been helpful in the next video we're going to do another experiment where we're working out the formula of something this time not by combustion this was a combustion reaction because we're using heat and we're using oxygen this next experiment is going to be doing it with reduction. Looking forward to it. See you then.